over here. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm still on my way. <sighs> David! It's David! Hey! Hey, David. I had to leave my car. It's traffic. It's just backed up for miles. He's dead. No! No! I, I, I tried! You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. I tried. Please, I tried. Oh, you tried? You fucking tried? <clears throat> Everyone's here. They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. Donde esta Javier? Donde esta mi hijo? I'm there. Right beside him, holding his hand, like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? He was my dad too, all right? I mean, you're not, you're not the only one dealing with this. And what a fine son you turned out to be. Uncle Javi? Why are you fighting? I could hear you from inside. What's going on? We were just, uh, talking, Gabriel. Right. Your uncle and I are just having a little chat. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on. Well, you got a pretty funny way of showing it. You think I was jealous of you? No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. You want me around more? Fine. But goddamn, are you still one raging asshole? You know that? You can call me whatever you want. As long as you're here to do it to my face. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. Mama. Where were you? I 
tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, mama. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. Where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. <laughs> keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <sighs> I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I don't know. Mija. Mariana! From the stars! Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey. We have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's no! Okay. It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. Man, I don't think I've seen this many. It's definitely growing. Yeah, not a great sign. Damn it, I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Huh. 
Looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. Hey, you're the one with the notebook. I leave that decision to you. Cool. Awesome. Because I was just using this thing to sketch in. Was I supposed to be writing something down? We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. Alright, just... you know, make it quick. I don't want you waking the kids. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Yeah. Okay, sure. <coughs> we are setting an awesome example. <coughs> Don't judge me. <coughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <coughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> I suppose it did. Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Oof. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm choking. <laughs> Jesus. Obviously. Gabe's been emotional lately. I'm sure he's just, you know, going through a phase. <sighs> emotional? <laughs> right. That's cute. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Man, he's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. <sighs> oh, yeah. The second you start getting boners... The whole world starts to get dark. <sighs> what are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ, I need to get laid. <laughs> I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. You know the kids can hear you. I just, no one wants to hear their parents talking about that. Stepmoms and uncles don't count. They're asleep. And besides, we're not really their parents. Still. Mm. Ugh. What's that smell? That's gross. Hey! Mariana, I... I think we uh, must have hit a skunk or something back there. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop.
You praying for our safety, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana. Not want. Pretty much everything. If it looks useful, let's use it. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. It doesn't matter what it's about. Well, that makes two of us. But we're stuck with him, so... At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but... The batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. Well, when you put it that way, I wish I had a pair too. You can borrow mine if you want. I might just have to do that. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you would find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Waste oil. No use to us. That's gross. But every bit helps. That could hold a lot of gas. Could be really handy if we stayed for a while. Come to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Looks like there's more to see up here.
Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe? Stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. locked. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Look at all that fuel. This is going to take a while. At least it had some gas. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Pretty run down. Locked. <clears throat> Not going to be able to pry this open. Damn it. Might be able to get in through the hatch. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos at least. Just be careful. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest-to-God pudding! Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress, there's blankets, 
Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. Well, you gotta admit, it's kind of cozy in here. The van is cozy. This is creepy. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? The kids are right. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes! <clears throat> kids, go wild. Just stay indoors and keep your ears open. <laughs> just in case. Cool. You can have your own. I don't know how I always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. We should be able to switch roles now and then. Oh, come on. That's not fair. You're cool to me. Wow. That means so much. Really. Grab some gas. We're out of here in a few hours. Hey, uh, wait, but you... You're the cool one, remember? She'd expect it from you. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! I'm sorry, man. Look, it's just a can. We needed it really we? bad. I fucking knew it. There's more than just you out here. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. They're out scouting around. But they'll be back soon. They're not gonna be too happy if they see you pointing a piece at me. Yeah, probably not. Then again, maybe they're already here, waiting to make an ambush. Ban out, look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. Hey, you assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on. You first. You get ambushed by your own people. That shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Don't fuck around with me, boy. Looks like you and your friends had a real feast, huh? You can't just take what you like. Look, we hardly took any. Uh, really, someone must have been here before us. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, your buddy's not thinking straight. So let's talk, okay? You and me, we can get this sorted out. No, it's his call. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. 
Hey, if you're so curious, open it and find out. Oh, really? Go ahead. Do it. Fuck it. Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Please. I just... I need help. Well, that's obvious. The way your friend there ran off, I don't think he's likely to come back and save you. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. Well, you almost crushed me in the process. The tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. 
this really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Come on. You must trust me at least a little. We're here, aren't we? I trust that if I don't get a van at the end of this, you'll regret it. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Now it's nice to meet you, Clementine. If you say so. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. You give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Yeah. Well, it shows. Meaning what? Meaning you could sure use a dust-up on those people skills. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice. Having a partner? It is. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that? Please? You want me to trust you? Give me a reason. Don't make me regret this. Come on! There! Get to the gate! Keep going! They'll open up! Shit! Hey! Open up! I can't open the gate till you clear them out! Can't risk it!
damn it, Francine, one of these days those doors are gonna close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. Pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... they're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you... Make some friends? Looks like someone's in the middle of a game. I wonder where they found this old thing. I haven't seen one of these in years. Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. The past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right, I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Well, oh, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, oh, this smells like turd.
turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal, and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Cause I don't scare easy, alright? Damn right. So you better figure out a way to fix this. And I mean real fast. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, I'm fucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... Ch what the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I oughta punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. Yeah. Well, now you really owe me one, because you put my ass on the line with these people, and they barely know me. I know, and I'm... well, I'm saying thanks. Just... don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. Trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. <sighs> I've never understood it. Oh, I'm not a troublemaker. No, trouble sees me and runs the other way. That explains why Trip locked you up for the night. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing, and that she went crazy over nothing? That guy had it coming. Believe me. Karma, justice, you call it whatever you want. Fuck that bastard. Hey, okay. If you say so. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town. And get back to your group. 
We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. If you really want to help me, let us out of this cage. Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? Nah, no way. I need to get back on the road ASAP. Javier, I'm not negotiating here. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd. Get a jump start on reaching that junkyard? It's too risky. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us, we... Don't worry. It'll be fine. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. We're leaving tonight, with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. All right, I'm in. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah. Guess I made the right call. Sounds like Eleanor will be a little while. Maybe we should get a few winks. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. AJ, we're gonna starve. I'm starving. We gotta... Here while I find us dinner, okay? Uh, Tell me you understand. No. <sighs> Please, we need this, AJ. We need food. You gotta be brave, okay? Ha <laughs> ha 
as hell by now. What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Trip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. Not that he's weird about it or anything. I gotta say, I think you can do a lot better than that, meathead. Are you being serious? You know what I mean. Guys, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Oh, shit. Guns out, yeah? If you insist. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? God, you're safe. I can't believe it. You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Block yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. Did they hurt you? Are you okay? I hid before they could get to me. I'm fine. Really. Kate and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go get your brother back, sweetie. Oh, no. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Ariana, stay back. Wait! Nobody shoots! He's right! We fired the truck, we might hit them. Another couple of minutes, we might not have been, but then you showed up just when it really mattered. Yeah, well, that's kind of my thing. Oh. I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate, so is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? It's okay. 
I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Eleanor? <laughs> of course we have hot water. We're not cavemen. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, <laughs> you know? You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Sort of incredible. Now let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. I'm just... happy for you is all. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. Thanks. shooting again. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna kill all of them. That's not gonna bring her back, Javi. So what? I'm just supposed to let him live? If you really want to help your family, you'll come with me. We can't wait anymore. Oh, we stay here and we finish this. Are you crazy? We have to go now. I've already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Eleanor, help them. You stay with me. What? No, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please. Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. I need your help, Gabe. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. 